In this video we have a look at some of the language and basic set notation that's used with Venn diagrams. In this case we'll be having a look for simplicity at two sets, in this case A and B. Now when we refer to one set, so for example if the notation is simply referring to set A, that means everything inside circle A. And there are two segments, there's the one that overlaps with B, and there's one part of the circle that's exclusively just values in A. And we can show that with shading, but in the case of this video, what we're going to do is show the separate segments with asterisks. So those asterisks in green indicate all the elements of the Venn diagram that belong to set A. If we talk about intersection of two sets, so in this case A intersect B, we can also use the language AND, but you'll notice the set notation with that upside down U represents the intersection of two sets. And in terms of the diagram, that's the area of the Venn diagram that's common to both set A and set B, where the two circles overlap. Another form of notation that we come across is A union B, and sometimes referred to as A or B, and specifically the inclusive word or. And that refers to all the elements that are in set A, set B, and also where they overlap. Sometimes we have exclusive or, and that's referring to the elements of A and B, but not where they overlap. So just the elements that are in A and B, but not in both. Normally, for the sake of consistency with Venn diagrams, we use inclusive or. Other set notation that you may see refers to complements. Now, in this case here, what we've got is the complement of A. It's basically everything inside the Venn diagram that's outside of set A. And we've shown that again with the asterisks. Now, in terms of notation, we can have A with a bar on top or A with a little apostrophe on the right hand side, or even A with a little C in the top right hand corner. All of those represent complements, and they're basically elements that are inside the Venn diagram, but not inside set A. Likewise, we can have the complement of A union B. So if we remember beforehand, A union B was everything in the sets A and B, both what's in common with A and B, and also the individual sets A and B. So the complement of that is only the elements outside of the circles A and B. We can have the complement of the intersection of A and B, and because the intersection refers to the two circles overlapping, just the middle bit of the Venn diagram, the complement refers to everything outside of that, and again we've indicated those with the asterisks in green.